DT's Match Day Vlog, brought to you by Wash and Go. Hello, boys and girls. It's that time again, Europa League. This is where the real European competition starts. <laughs> FC Vorskla. Starting at home, so we ain't on one of our magical journeys. But, listen, we need to win this game tonight. I don't want no slip-ups. I don't want no poor performances. We should be navigating this very, very comfortably tonight. And I don't want to be banter FC. Please, come and join me and let's find out what happens tonight. at the Emirates. Um, hour two kickoff team's been announced and do you know what? If you watch my preview this week and my predicted lineup, I only got one of the players wrong. I actually had Mavropanos in, um, but Socrates starts. But the rest, that's a strong, strong lineup for a Europa League game. I'm expecting a good game and I'm expecting a win. So come on, Arsenal, try not to let me down. Five, it's not been too bad. We're seeing a lot of the ball, and um, yeah, we just need to break them down. I think when we get one, then we'll get a few more. But only five, their fans allowed, considering there's only a couple of hundred of them. Great ball, Torreira. Nearly, nearly Licksteiner on the end of that. That's a little better, a little better. And we're just starting to get into the game a little bit more. Oh wow, they're on the break. Uh, well played, Socrates. Absolute machine. Go on, you're in, Nacho, you're in. That'll be a corner if that goes. Corner. Just got to break them down. Still on the attack. So we need to just pace things up. Set the pace a little higher, use the whip, and then I think we'll open them up. That's a great cross from Awobi. Like I said, we're completely controlling the game. It's just, need a goal. 15 minutes gone, and the only thing missing is a goal. I think once we get one, then it'll open up. What have we got? 15 minutes or so left of the first half, and we just need to get that first goal. They're a very physical side. Um, but yeah, we just need that first goal, and then I think the floodgates will open. I'm hoping so, anyway. What about me, Yang? What a break! Brilliant ball by Alex Awobi Abamiang. That's why I said he has to start this game. Because he will score goals and it will just lift his confidence for the Premier League. Arsenal! 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 There we go. Should start scoring now. Oh! Oh, Torreira actually went for that. I thought he was going to cross it. That was really close. Oh, oh Wobi again. 
Just a final ball missing. He's done really well. The build up play was really good. Abamiang. Oh. You know what, it was similar to the goal at Cardiff um, that he scored there, but this one he obviously didn't score, he hit the post, but... Oh! Great shot! Right on half time. We really started to crank the pressure up, it should be more than one. Two minutes. Probably get one more corner in. Maybe a chance to get a second, but yeah, after a slow start and steady, we've, yeah. I think there's a lot more goals in this game, to be honest. So it's half time and it's 1 0. And um, you know what? We dominated the half, had so much of the ball. I'd love to see the possession stats, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, it was just one of those where you need a goal. And once you get the goal, things will start to open up. And that's what I think happened. Once we scored, it could have been two or three. And I think in the second half, it could get a little bit easier. And we should go on and score a few more goals. So Bamiyang with a goal, do his confidence the world of good. He nearly scored an absolute worldie. Very reminiscent to the goal of Cardiff. But so far, so good. It's a strong lineup. And um, yeah, they're doing the business. One nil. So. So far, not letting me down. So yeah, looking forward to the second half. five minutes. I said it was going to open up as soon as we got our first goal. Could be anything this scoreline to be honest with you. You in? Oh, oh boy, you should be scoring that. Oh! 3-0. Second for Aubameyang. And this is why I said him to play tonight because it will lift him for the rest of the campaign. Very, very comfortable now. Opening them up at will. The yeah. replaced by Tim Nazareth Second. 
really poor that we have kind of just fell asleep towards the end of the game after we got 4-0 up. Really poor doing that. comfortable evening to be quite honest but I'm a little disappointed with the way we defended when we went 4-0 up and it got very easy at that point and people got complacent and we let them score two goals and you know the goals weren't Leno's fault they were great strikes to be fair both of them but it's that complacency that little bit of negligence and that's what we need to eradicate because it's been there all season but you know what it is well it is it's a win um, so that's four in a row it was comfortable scored four goals Abamyang scored goals and I think that will do him the world of good for the rest of the season and um, yeah we move on we've got bigger things to worry about and that is Everton on Sunday massive massive game so as always um, keep an eye out for the player ratings tomorrow keep an eye out for the preview to that Everton game then the match day vlog and then the player ratings so yeah all in all it was okay we got the three points we won the game so um, yeah they didn't let me down I will see you lot in a few days I'm out of it